Okay, so just following on, because I had to go and do the school run before, um, and now it's the evening and my kids are in bed. So just following on from um, getting started, so basically I started my business on the 1st of July, um, I spent the 50, I think it was £4 then, I know it's 56 now, um, pounds to buy my website, to buy my shop if you like, like virtual online franchise, and then what I did was, because I wanted to have integrity of recommending these products, I wanted to personally have experience of them anyway, so I bought about five of um, the key products that I knew I personally would use so I could talk about them and that other people would benefit from hearing about what my opinion of them was, um, so I think I bought the shower, the shower gel shampoo and conditioner set that comes together at a discount, I think I bought, I think the bag of protein was my free product, um, I think I got the primer and the foundation, um, I think I got the hand wash, I'm trying to think what else I got got I can't maybe the mascara I might have got that as well um, but anyway, so I got some key key products, and so my initial investment was probably about £150, I'd say, um, on a credit card, and did manage to pay that off, building my album business, but this is the, the point where people make the decision on what they invest into their business, whether they decide to, to um, generate income to pay that back off, it's the same as any business, album, there's no difference to that. If I decided to do that, and then I spoke to nobody about my business, or I decided not to persevere in getting better at talking about my business, and I decided not to train, not to do all the learning, not to go onto the Arbonne University and learn all of the, the free stuff on there, and didn't decide to go forwards with what I needed to do to grow me and my business, then I, I wouldn't have made any money. And I got that, I got that it was up to me to make it work, so I went on to the Arb on source and I literally learned about everything I was making notes I went onto the Facebook pages that I could get onto I was making notes again of what people were using and their recommendations because I wasn't able to try every single product I was then looking at what other people found from their opinion I was um, collating all of that in here making notes and like revising for a degree I think that's kind of how I tra treated Arbonne um, in the beginning and, and I still do now as well um, you know I'm only two years in I'm still learning just as much as the next person and um, we never stop learning anyway because none of my friends were keen on really good products that was obviously um, one of my first hurdles that there was nobody willing to support me my mother-in-law she did want to buy a couple of products and uh, convinced her to be a consultant um, because mainly because I didn't get the difference between a consultant and a PC in the beginning, I didn't really have a clue and I was like, oh you know, I make money out of you if you're a PC, so be a consultant instead, I didn't really know what I was doing, but anyway, she's an area manager now anyway, so that actually worked out really, really, really well, but one key bit of advice I'd say is if somebody wants to build this as a business with you, they become a business builder and they build it as a business, if somebody just wants to be a client or a customer, they're a PC or a client. I would not make somebody who is a customer or client a consultant, okay, because, you know, there's there's a difference there. There's, there's different platforms for, for reasons. Um, anyway, we all make mistakes and we learn from them. That's okay. Don't be afraid to make mistakes because it's better to make a mistake than be paralyzed by fear and do nothing. You know, I'd much sooner somebody in my team totally messed up than did nothing because they were paralyzed by absolute fear of what might be. So what I decided to do was make friends in groups. So I went onto Facebook groups that I had common interests in and I went on and made friends. It wasn't about sharing Arbonne, it was about making friends with people. And as Arbonne naturally comes up into the conversation like it does um, when you talk about what's your job, you know, where do you live, what kids have you got, it naturally came up. And I told my new friends about what it was that I did with my time and some of them were like, oh that's great, and left it at that. And some of them were like, oh that sounds really interesting, like what are your products like? So I'd tell them about the products and um, say about we had a six week money back guarantee, so they'd try the products with that guarantee. Um, it does really reassure a lot of people. Um, I'd tell people about the business and the income side of it. Um, I'd send videos of me doing my Discover album because if I was in hospital I was unable to meet them for a one-to-one -one, but if I could I would have met them for a one-to-one -one. and I just got out there I just made as many new friends as possible spoke to as many people as possible had as many conversations as possible and accepted that for the first couple of years I was going to be learning this this industry this profession that I did not have a clue about I got that it was like I knew it was like training to be a doctor it's not going to happen overnight it's going to take time and I accepted it I just fully accepted and embraced it um, I just decided I was going to be at the third level, the region level by my one year anniversary and I just worked my little socks off to achieve that. I did a lot of personal development which I'd not been exposed to pre arbor so I immersed into books, trainings, I was at every single event. I made sure that I did not miss 
a region training. I did not miss an online weekly conference call. I was always present at those things. They were my top priority and my husband knew that. So if something was needed with our daughters, he knew that that was my top priority because that's what, what was, that, our bond is what was going to take us away from the situation that we were sick of being in. So it was a top priority in our lives. And I think the best way to know if our bond is going to be a success for you is if it's in your top three priorities. If it is in your top three priorities, you're going to do whatever it takes and it's going to be successful. If it's not, you're going to you're gonna see it as more of a hobby. And that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. But that's probably how you can differentiate. For me, my top priorities were my family, my business, which was Arbon, and Ian's job. Like, those were the things that... Uh, we sort of bent over backwards around and so and it's always been it's always been up there with my priorities It's never budged. It's never ever ever moved. It's always been high up there in my priority list So everything moves around my my top priorities my values in my life. So Arbon is the vehicle that enables us as a family to have what we want. If I didn't have my Arbon business right now, we would not, as a family, have the things that we want. We would be miserable. We would be even more debt ridden. My husband would still be working for somebody else if he hadn't have already ran himself into the ground health wise and it just would have been a really different it, we would be living a different life right now so it's so for me it was so worth investing my time energy and effort into building this business i've had a blast i absolutely love it i'm having the most fun um so my that's my my top recommendations for getting started with this business so i hope um those two videos have helped um i do get asked about this uh, several times a day so i'm glad that you've been able to watch this on a video rather than me trying to re um retell all of this because sometimes i can miss bits out or get a bit confused trying to um talk about things especially when it's like late at night and i'm getting a message and trying to reply so i hope that that's been really helpful um it's probably going to help me out no end because i can send this as a um as a duo video now and good luck with your business stick to your sponsor like crazy just get your sponsor in front of as many people as possible so that they can explain the business and the products on your behalf you'll learn so much more by watching them talk about our barn much more than anything else um do personal development make Make up one in your top three priorities. Get your diary out for the next 12 months. Make sure your region training is in there. Make sure your weekly online calls are on there. You discover our ones and whatever else it is that you feel like or your sponsor feels like is going to help build your business and grow your business. Get it in your diary as your top priority. Don't budge around it. You know, if that's what is going to take you to where you want to be, don't move it. So good luck with your business. I look forward to hearing about your success.